Who, were you both? Did, were you both uh, hired the same year, same no. class? No. no, Bobby started I was two hired years before me, nineteen sixty four. No, I was twenty seventeen. You were twenty nineteen. No, two thousand seven, two thousand nine, two thousand nine. Oh, uh, two thousand ten. Jeez, um, yeah, I'm doing. Seven, I'm doing then, leaving rather than starting. So yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so yeah. you're there for two years. You're already the guy. People are like, oh wow, this guy's the guy. He's the duck. First time, no. he's, the, he's the duck kid. Um, no, that was not the case. It was more <laughs> like, thank God, someone new is here. <laughs> but you got, but you got a sketch on your very, you got a Bobby Moynihan sketch on your very first episode. I did, and I truly on your first episode as a freshman. Yes, yes but I believe that was because Michael Phelps hosted. <laughs> oh, he's a fan. <laughs> He's what does Michael Phelps have to do? He loves, no, he, he he loves just, Peppa. Yeah. <laughs> he loves Peppa. Yeah. He still goes no, to the same just pool in Palm Springs, I think. He was, <laughs> I could, and I would say this to his face, he was tired. <laughs> he sure. had just finished the Olympics. Eating all those Subway sandwiches. I was That's like, I said cars. to him, I said, so are you having a good time? And he went, no. Yeah. I and <laughs> he said he just got back from Greece. How were his arms? He was tired. Uh, <laughs> huge. He was a monster. Um, but uh, <laughs> Hugely tired. But uh, yeah, I got a sketch on my first episode because I, th I think. Yeah. The first time Bobby and I met, the first night we met, I wasn't on the show yet. I was visiting yes. a, as a friend, and it was the episode. Uh, Nassim. How, how did you Nassim's know him? First, uh, if you episode. weren't on the show, um, I wasn't. I wasn't his guest. I was Nassim's guest. Nassim and Jillian Bell. Jillian was hired That's as a writer. Amazing. Nassim Pedrad hired in the cast, mm -hmm. and I was visiting for their very first episode, and that's the episode where Jenny Slate you let, let slip yourself, the F word. And, I and in that. that moment, I was I had I had shown up and seen the dress. So they do the full two hour show at eight p.m. Mm -hmm. Then there's a break, and then they do the live show that's only ninety minutes at eleven thirty. And we were watching the live show, and I was with uh, Nina, Nassim's younger sister, and Leah, Nassim's best friend, uh, childhood friend of mine from Big Bear, California. And this and Jenny does the thing and does the face and we were all so tired because we'd been there that whole time and we were kind of like and I went I think I think she just said the F word and like Nina was like no it's flipping that's the joke of the sketch it's flipping I was like no no you didn't hear that I think she just was there, there was, a big controversy okay, for that it doesn't it didn't matter it wasn't a big deal but it was fun and exciting and exhilarating knock 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 i was like i'm pretty sure knock 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 bobby comes in he goes i think our little jenny slate just said the f word <laughs> and i remember that yeah. i was in my dressing room with keenan oh and great weed and he just went he looked we were both looking at the tv and he just went <laughs> he just kind of laughed did you smoke yeah. weed before a lot of shows i wasn't no i couldn't do you smoke weed yeah well you can't do not really work? anymore well yeah what huh Yes. No, Rick, I'm not at work. Rick. Not not before a show. I couldn't. Because it makes you too at, silly? At SNL? No, it was just too But you just said you were smoking terrifying. Smoking weed in the We yes, uh, we Sometimes. and Keenan used inaugural, to smoke weed. Yeah, special yeah, yeah. Occasions. We would smoke weed uh, many times during rehearsals. Yeah. I love performing not, high. Uh, you do I do not. Love. I do not. I've I can count on one hand the amount of times I've done pot. So was that one to four um, to five? It's probably four and a half. Four and a half, like the half being like a. You, you know, I don't feel it. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Clinton style. Because he didn't inhale. Yeah, 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 or he didn't fuck her. Sorry, I'm. I don't think I've ever seen now. you smoke weed. Um, yes. Wait, I don't want to pass over this. Here, here here's I. There, I don't want to pass over the politic thing. Can the, we go back to it? Okay, sure. We, we can go back to it after. I just one of us remind us. I want to talk about politics to, with you okay, great, great, in a great. little bit. Um, the first time I ever did was honestly right before I flew out to start SNL. My wife and I went to a resort and my little brother who has been known to imbibe. I hit him up and I was like, hey, we're kind of doing this and, and it feels like a safe environment. That time <laughs> he brought it over. He sat with us. There's a little outdoor fire pit. He sat with us. I took the hits and I was very cerebral about it. I was very much like, I don't want to I don't want to embellish. I want to actually feel what this embellish. feels like. I don't want to be like, oh man, it's hitting me. You know, oh, in the like, way that, like, like when someone takes a hit of a helium balloon and they change their voice. Yes, it's like, exactly. Just be real. Or like one beer and you're like, I think you said. <laughs> that one I like. But I, I get what you're saying. <laughs> it's funny. Well, that's it's, you anyway. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Um, that's me and Guy Ukaku. <laughs> <laughs> I can't play this song for you, he said. <laughs> um, did it and like did like deep breaths, like, okay, I'm starting to feel warm. I feel it. Okay. I feel like it. I feel it's traveling down my body. And we ordered cookie, like a plate of cookies. Cause I'm like, that's the cliche, right? I'm going to want it. And I love cookies anyway. Imagine yeah. me on pot. Um, and I started to take a cookie and like m my then fiance and brother were laughing. Cause they're like, your then it's fiance is your now wife. Correct. 
thank God. Third um, base. And then, <laughs> and and then it, and then they're like, "Let's go inside." I just felt my body kind of start sinking into the chair. Mm. Like I started feeling real heavy. And and Taylor's like, "I'm gonna take off." And then Kobe and I went in. And we watched. We ordered McGruber, which is m- maybe my favorite comedy of the last twenty years. Well, I don't know what you're baking up over there, <laughs> but I'm about to sizzle your pan. What are you talking about, McGruber? What do you think I'm talking about? Move over, bacon, because now there's something meatier. It's called more bacon. It's that kind of stuff. That kind of related to that. <laughs> Eight episodes of that. Yeah. And and I just like I think I made it to like his first backflip in his introduction kind of thing. And then just woke up to him with celery in his ass running back and forth and Kobe going, come on, let's go to bed. So that's one. (laughs) Literally the next time that I like tried to actually engage with marijuana was at Jason Sudeikis' house. He invited people over to like watch a football game or something. And he brought out an aerator, mm-hmm. which I had never seen. And I didn't understand which the purpose. Which is just like a vaporator. A vapor. A vapor uh, uh, yes. You know, vaporizer. you put, there's like a plastic bag. So the volcano. It, the volcano. That's exactly what it was. But he takes it out and I were and he's there and a couple cast members, a couple writers. And I very earnestly see him take this thing out and put the plastic bag on and go, is that a cotton candy maker? <laughs> so this is my journey. Then maybe skipping one, the last since like you actual time about I tried, the third one. I think it was insignificant. I think that was maybe the half, right? Right. Then, and this is the best one. And I and I, it was with Keenan, and then I was talking to him about it recently. He's um, awesome, by the way. I know you guys are friends with him. Best he's person, the greatest, best, hum, funniest, the greatest human in the greatest, world. Greatest. He's best. so special. Yes, he really is. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, uh, your weed story. Yeah, Keenan. Three thirty a.m. on a pre-tape. <laughs> It's snowing. It was called like the stakeout. It's me and Jay Farrow is directed by Matt and Oz. It was great. Uh, Matt Valines and, and Oz Rodriguez, who were the directors uh, of Brother Nature. And unfortunately, we lost Matt to cancer, which was a hard, sad thing. But this is a happy story. Um, it's a it's one of their shoots and they're just the best. And it was always fun. And we're sitting in the car and Keenan's in the driver's seat. I'm sitting shotgun and Keenan just lights up. And he goes, you want to you want to hit it? Probably didn't say it that way. I don't do the marijuana much, but he said, do you want to probably didn't say a word? He no. probably he's he just, probably just yes. the, and I just <laughs> and everything that needed to be said was in his glorious eyes. Um, and I'm like, yes, I am on <laughs> SNL. That makes I am me a cast member. So happy. I am a cast member on SNL doing a 3.30 a.m. pre tape with directed by two people I love in a car with two performers I love. I am going to smoke weed <laughs> with Keenan Thompson on a pre-tape at SNL. And I did a big hit <laughs> and wanted to show that I could do it. So you can tell he smokes pot a lot. And I, <laughs> I did a big hit. I did one. I did the first big hit, which was a big breathy <laughs> From the marijuana joint. <laughs> I did it from the right end, too. Um, I, did, I did one big hit and did a little cough like that. And Keenan loved that. And I needed to show that I could do another one without the cough part. Right. Did. In less than 10 minutes was sitting a shotgun like this. Just uh, uh, just like literally just. Uh, and then there was a walkie talkie for Matt and Oz <laughs> to to like give us direction. They're like, uh, you know, we were, we were playing like thugs and, and, and they'd be like, Taryn. Yeah, uh, <laughs> on this on this next one, can you just be like be a little more angry in it? Okay, and they'd be like, action! Yo, man, we gonna get in there. We gonna smoke these fools, man. Come out, bust two caps, pop, pop, cut. Oh. <laughs> it was. I I don't really yeah, so remember fun. getting from that car home. How did you? How did you? How did you be so knocked out to been able to turn it on right away? Come on, man. I think I said this in the first episode, but for somebody who hasn't watched all of them, that was one of the things that turned me on about you um, mm. that I, I, I saw, I think it was at Bill's house when we did um, Bill Lawrence, our mutual friend where we met the cameraman. Oh, hey, man. Uh, and I don't remember what it was, but there was something that I just love that some performers have where you don't want to do something. Hey, oh, wait, will you do your thing? Will you play the piano? Will you sing? Nobody, I'm not in here, but something came up and asked to do it. And Right away, you did it. You yeah, did yeah. the thing. Yeah. But then you sat back and it was just like, 
oh, you're so locked in to be able to do your thing without worrying about should I not, but without making a meal of it. You just did. It was as if we said, what's your birthday? And you just told us and you went back. And I was just like, that's cool. And then I've seen you do it a few times. Uh, You did. You sang Hamilton. I'm like, I just out of nowhere asked you to sing Hamilton. And instead of being like, I don't know. I saw that. Yeah. And you just did it the whole song. And that's something that is a certain type of person and a certain type of confidence and a certain type of experience as a performer. Yeah. Um, I'm, I don't know if I'm forcing this, but is there something in that? Cause I really ask when you were, uh, you could always do, you could, could you yeah. always show up? Yeah. I think the show must go on energy and, and I've been performing in either community theater or professionally since I was five or six years old. So I, I, yeah, I have confidence in that. Also, and that's just all acting over the age of 40. It's just like, oh, and then <laughs> action, and then you pretend, yeah, and they say cut, you go, oh. I got to muscle it up, <laughs> fake it till you make it. I just um, remembered the first time, I, I, I do not like performing stoned. I just don't mm. enjoy it. Um, I'll rehearse all week, uh, stoned. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but um, uh, I went, I was done for the day. Like I finished my rehearsals at SNL. It was the first episode of my second season. It was the week I met you. Mm. Um, uh, Megan Fox was hosting. Yeah. I went I home. Do. I went home. Ew, no. You don't know what I was doing? No, I don't. I was, that was, please grab your boobs. Yeah, no. Yeah, that's what we, we thought you were doing. You can't do that. No. What? We canceled. Come on, man. That's Megan Fox. You canceled. She's Keep a lady. <laughs> I did it again. <laughs> um, I went home thinking I was done for the day, started smoking weed, and then got a call from Akiva that was like, hey, we're doing this bit. It was the week they did Forte and Megan oh, Fox's digital date, short, which the is date. the funniest. It's the one of the best remember. Tapes. It, He is on a date with Megan Fox. Uh-huh. It's so weird and, he's and a so sw- wonderful. A retired SWAT team captain, <laughs> but she's giving all this impressive information. But he talks like this <laughs> and, and she's like you're so fascinating I, I just and I just love everything about you what do you do in your spare time he goes well <laughs> I raise lambs <laughs> she goes really mm, I groom them and then we shave their hair and sell their wool for goods and and then when they get to a certain age I for lack of a better word slaughter them and sell their meats <laughs> and she goes oh that must be so hard he goes that's right. <laughs> it's just it's just pure it's uncut funny, forte craziness. It's and just it's three one of my minutes favorites. of forte being forte yes, in the yes, best way possible. Yes. But Akiva and Yorma called me up and they were like, hey, we don't know if this one's going to work. So we're doing a second digital short. And I think it was the first time they had oh, ever wow. done that. Wow. It was like we're doing we shot that. It's done. But we have and decided, they might not even use it. We have yeah. decided last minute just to shoot a completely new right. digital short. And I was like what and they were like and you're in it so come back and now i'm stoned <laughs> and they're like meet us at the ace hotel at 11 30 jeez and i'm panicking i get there and i'm now i'm naked in a robe with an optimus prime mask on oh, wow. talking to megan fox wow and i'm stoned out of my gourd going like what the fuck is happening <laughs> right now i remember that it was one. the weirdest yeah. and, and also brian austin green was in that brian austin green was in it also the first time ever a pre-tape went past 2 a.m <laughs> can you believe that 2 a.m they were like we got done at 3 a.m. and they were like, we are so, That's so sorry. We would start wow. at 2 or 3 a.m. Wow. when I was done. Yes. Like, yes. It was it was bonkers. And then That's they amazing. aired both. They aired because yeah. Wills was so funny. And then Jenny cursed. And then they aired. It was right after that sketch. And I curse oh, wow. in that sketch. And they have it bleeped out. Yes. So it got nothing because oh, people were still man. like in shock. It was the weirdest. That was the weirdest. That's a weird You one. said naked in a row. Sorry. Why naked? What does that mean? Robe. Um. Well, I had on like underwear and a robe, but I was, but still, I'm not, I, I look at me. I, I was not psyched to be <laughs> stoned in a robe with an Optimus Prime mask on next on, in, on, in a bed with Megan Fox. Did you, you was, feel embarrassed? You, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was really, <laughs> really weird and scary and, and terrifying. Yeah, yeah. I was, it was so bizarre. But if you watch that, you never see my face and the whole thing. But if you watch it, I'm terrified. Oh. <laughs> 